Uh, hey everybody, we are justifying our interactive film and the making of documentary of The Unholy Five. Um, and basically, uh, it is featuring the stage, because everyone on the stage who knows like where to go next for this adventure. We're alternating again. Okay, this is my card. Um, it's involving deceit, because there's deceit involving like the location of the box and how to get to it. Uh, Dylan is featured in a short segment of the film. Um, regarding a fateful decision, because it was a fateful decision for Mel Sloan to hide the box on campus. Uh, involved, involving a locked box, that's what all the characters in the film are searching for. Um, the game plays you, is this whole, like, adventure is kind of like a game, and it's playing them, because in the end, it is empty. Uh, involving a close shave, because, uh, Melanie could kill them at the end, but they barely managed to escape. Um, it feels smooth, because the soundtrack feels very smooth and successful. Uh, regarding history, because it's about the Unholy Five and the history of the film school. Uh, trope, the last of their kind, the last of the Unholy Five left the box for the students of the future. Posterize, we made a poster, it's awesome, I think it's behind my head. There it is, it's right back there. Uh, involving hesitance, because uh, Dale hesitates whether or not to let Evelyn help him. Uh, involving a quest, because all the characters are on a quest to find the box. Uh, involving a bounty, because there's kind of a bounty on the box and how to get to it. Involving a twist, because the box is empty. Uh, involving a glance, because there's a lot of glances in the film between the characters. Uh, featuring a brotherhood, that's the Unholy Five, they were sort of like a brotherhood in their time. Uh, regarding pride, because there's pride at stake for finding the box. Involving a sneak attack, that's Melanie attacking them at the end. Uh, regarding courage, it takes courage for them to continue on this quest. Uh, involving a discovery, because Dale discovers the myth of the locked box, and also the box itself. Uh, featuring a <coughs> lost one. At the beginning of the film, Dale is kind of lost in how to proceed at film school. Uh, regarding partnership, because Dale and Evelyn partner up to find the box. Involving polar opposites, because Dale and Evelyn are opposite at the beginning. At or involving the Cinematic Arts Library, because that happens. Uh, involving a false assumption, because at first you assume that um, Melanie is the protagonist. Involving a murder, because Melanie murders someone, and that was Amy, and that made me sad. Um, involving a window, because there are a lot of windows at the places we filmed. Uh, involving a seeker, because all the characters are seeking the box. Uh, involving imprisonment, because the truth is imprisoned within the box. Uh, involving an everyman, because Dale is an everyman before he begins his search for the box. Uh, regarding the collapsed civilization, because if they don't find the box, the civilization might collapse. Uh, involving a myth, because it's about the myth of the Unholy Five. Uh, involving a detour, I every single path of the interactive film is a different detour. Involving a successor, because uh, you assume that whoever finds the box will sort of become the successor to the Unholy Five. Uh, involving a moral dilemma, because it's a moral a dilemma whether or not to unearth this giant secret. Uh, invol oh no. <laughs> uh, you guys can't see it on this there video, but S1 there. made an epic like card, card castle, castle thing with all of them. It had like three cool. levels and there it just fell down and it was awesome. Sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, involving a cliffhanger. Uh, because at the end of every movie there's a cliffhanger where you decide where to go next. Uh, it's involving a messy tangle, because as they continue in their adventure, it becomes more messy and tangled. Uh, involving a hunter, because they are all hunting for the box. Featuring an unwanted visitor, because Melanie is an unwanted visitor. Involving an escape, because they managed to escape from Melanie. Involving a silhouette, because you see the silhouette of Melanie running through the rose garden. Restore, that's happening too. Involving or featuring the grind because the, gr the daily grind is interrupted by this grand adventure. Uh, involving a rose because the first chase takes place in the rose garden and there's a shot of a rose. Um, from the archives, we included a little Super 8 opening from the movie picture archives. Involving an elusive quarry because Amy is elusive at the beginning <laughs> when she gets murdered and the box itself is also elusive. Uh, involving a band of outsiders because Evan and Lynn and Dale are like a band of outsiders. Same with the Unholy Five. And featuring a puzzle because they have to solve the puzzle that the Unholy Five left them to find the box. Um, it's about a search for freedom because Dale and Evelyn are kind of go searching for freedom through truth. Uh, featuring a rebel because the Unholy Five were like rebels in their time. Including a decoy protagonist because Melanie was, uh, you think she's the protagonist but she's not. Um, involving speed because the rose garden chase goes by very quickly. Um, advising a r involving a rise and fall because through the adventure there's a lot of rise and falls. Um, involving dread because in the beginning when somebody gets killed, you think that, you know, it creates dread for our main characters. Involving a sign because they have to follow the signs and the clues in order to find the box. Uh, it's involving a reversal because the box is empty. 
Um, it's about a scientific principle about opposites attract, Dale and Evelyn are opposites, but they are attracted to work together for this adventure. Um, it's involving social change because they're trying to bring about social change by unearthing the secret. Uh, it's involving service because the Unholy Five thought it was their duty to, you know, um, be in service to their school by leaving this behind future filmmakers. Um, Evelyn is the princess in this because she's naive at first, not realizing what this quest could bring about. Um, it's regarding magical protection because the box has been hidden for so many years and now you think that it could have been protected by magic protection. Um, it's involving a secret door because in the PED building there's a secret door that they go through. Um, regarding ambition because uh, Melanie's ambition is what keeps her motivated to find the box. Uh, it's including a harbinger of doom as the first theme in the Rose Garden that kind of brings out the feeling of doom for the rest of the film. Uh, it's about greed because Melanie is greedy because she only wants the box for at all costs. Uh, it's regarding a stranger who comes to town and likes Melanie. Uh, it's something completely different. This is an interactive film. Uh, it's regarding psychological torment because Melanie is tormented by this box at the fact that she cannot find this box um, that her father left behind. Um, it's regarding betrayal uh, because Melanie betrays the other people in order to get to the box. Uh, it's including a compass because Dale and Evelyn must find that you follow their own moral compasses in order to solve this mystery. Um, it's regarding unrequited love because Melanie is kind of in love with this idea that she can find this box and finally like resolve like her inner conflict, uh, but it's not true. Involving insubordination because the only five are kind of um, insubordinate in their time. Uh, it's featuring a narrator because you play the, the narrator and you kind of narrate how the, the adventure goes. Uh, it's involving a fall from grace because they fall, the Unholy Five kind of fell from grace and then they left this legacy behind. Um, it's involving lost innocence because, oh no. Happened again. Uh, it's involving lost innocence because they kind of like lost their innocence as they found like this, um, the Unholy Five box, the box that the Holy Five left behind. Um, the archetype of the phoenix is the, unho the Unholy Five box because like you think that it's so wonderful, it's coming up from the ashes, but then it's empty. Uh, it's involving diligence because they, they had to be diligent on their search. Uh, it's in another man's shoes because they're kind of walking in the unholy five shoes. Uh, it's involving a healer because Evelyn's kind of the healer healer here and she's like being um, healing the, this like idea of not being able to um, find the box. Uh, featuring the muse because Evelyn is kind of like the muse that inspires Dale. Uh, involving a mad prophet, not only is this mad prophet who thinks that this box will bring around the end of civilization. Um, archetype of the trickster, um, that is Melanie. Uh, trope God for a day, Evelyn Dale and God for theirs are bringing about the change in the school. It's involving a fair because of the affair of the unholy five. And that's it.